I, first of all, I wanted to be the Speaker of Parliament. That hasn't happened. But I also wanted Kadaga, who has personalized the Parliament, to be out. That has happened. I now wait to see, and I'll seek to meet or to tell him this Parliament cannot be personalized. You cannot institutionalize yourself as a speaker and you become parliament. If he continues in the footsteps of Kadaga, I will continue struggling. Me, I'm a struggleist. And what I said, I believe in it. Parliament must work as an institution. Speakers must, turn, must not turn themselves into kings and queens. So I wait to see how Oranya will conduct parliament. If he conducts the same way Kadaga was conducting, you should expect a fight from me day one. What next for you? I am I am MB for Chira Municipality. So I am going to be representing Chira Municipality. The opportunity to preside over Parliament has not materialized. Now I am going to be a good MP representing my constituency. Are you surprised that um, most of the opposition members have not voted for you? They were opportunistic. Opportunistic that they went for Kadaga, who has numbers. You had, even when she was nominated, they were the ones clapping here. Now, that has taught them a lesson. I mean, how do you vote the NRM third vice chairperson? You even clap and even cry if, when she has lost. I want to congratulate the 15 MPs who voted for me. But during the consideration of the agility bill, we were suspended only seven. Many of my colleagues is 13, yet we had said you will not allow Maji. So I am used to this, but I am very, very happy. So they will now know you can't ally with NRM, or you ally with it at your own risk. Was the exercise free and fair in your own opinion? There is absolutely no problem. We all voted. I voted. Nobody stopped me until when the NRM, as expected, voted for their candidate. Those who wanted to vote for another NRM candidate, they have lost with her.